dear all, dear Steffi. It's just thrilling to be here. And to be honest, every time I uh, attend DLD, I feel completely refreshed within seconds. You know what I mean? Being surrounded by such visionary, dedicated people like you, that's just amazing. Even, I think, um, the air um, feels electrically charged by, by the energy. Can you feel it? Yes. <laughs> okay, I know, it's early. And who is the master of such moments? Steffi, Steffi, it's you, you have to come. It's remarkable. Steffi, you have to stay here, sorry, you have to stay. It's remarkable how you manage to bring all these people together. You constantly reinvent DLD. And you do so with an, I think... PR agent, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am, no. Um, and you do so with an incredible instinct to identify what moves our future and rules our zeitgeist. And on a more personal note, I want to thank you so very much, Steffi. You are the person who welcomes others with open arms. And when I just getting started as a young minister, you were the first to put me on stage at DLD and said, you belong here. Make something um, great out of it. <laughs> and opened up your network to me. Uh, you helped me with expertise. And above all, you gave me your trust and you gave me your friendship. Now, at the end of the legislative period, and um, you will never know where the journey will take you, um, I will not fail to mention that. I will never forget how much you helped me to take the first couple of steps in the digital world, and I can only say thank you to you. Thank you, Steffi. So, Muni, uh, Munich would not be the digital hub that it is today without Steffi, and obviously also if it wasn't for you either, dear DLD crowd, the Bavarian ecosystem owes you a lot. Bavar Bavaria has always embraced new technologies, yet you people add the visionary touch to the ecosystem that we have built here. And if I remember my last meeting with Sam Altman back in May here in Munich, it's exactly this inspiring ecosystem and the people um, that led him to visit us. Of course, it's never easy to decide which came first. Was it our Bavarian high-tech agenda on which we spent 5.5 billion euros in research and development, universities and our in, uh, economy that attracts all the smart people? Or is it um, the other way, to, way around? Did the people, our great local entrepreneurial talent, attract all the great companies to come um, to Bavaria? And I'm not only talking about those international blue chip companies like Amazon, Google, or Meta, who are building large sites here in Munich. I'm particularly talking about the many startups and small and medium-sized companies that developed fascinating AI tools in the midst of Bavaria. Let me briefly mention a couple of figures which showcase the Bavarian innovation power. Six out of 30 um, German unicorns are based in Bavaria. In fact, even the only German Dikacorn is based in Munich. And what is more, and that makes me very proud, since last year, more new companies were started in Munich than in Berlin. Well, 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 you might say, that's so typically Bavarian, always best, always larger than life, always number one. And yes, it's true. <laughs> we Bavarians, uh, we like to be number one, but we don't rest on our laurels. We want to keep growing. And that's, um, it's that kind of growth mindset that we need today more than ever before. For me, a growth mindset means to constantly question own attitudes and to reflect own st strategies, to think outside of the box, to explore new opportunities, even it's not always clear um, where those will lead. To me, growth mindset is the only way to achieve moonshots. 
that is um, to achieve groundbreaking uh, results, like reinventing the world with ChatGPT um, that defines new standards for human machine interaction. And here, um, we endorse our growth mindset. And there in Brussels, the risk aware uh, way to deal with innovation guides a lot of policies. We follow with concern that, um, what is happening in AI at the EU level. The EU is trying to control AI technology through a strict regulatory framework. And their approach is to minimize as much risk as possible. In the process, however, any approach to innovation is stifled. A bureaucratic monster is um, yeah, lurking um, in, the, uh, in the shadows. Where Brussels sees risk, we see chance and opportunity instead. We won't slow our momentum at this critical juncture. There is too much at stake and, more, uh, and some risks are well worth taking. Yet, none of on us is naive. Um, obviously, we have to mitigate potential risks. However, we have to be smart about it. But we shouldn't take the Brussel brute force method that threatens innovation. We have to balance regulation and innovation in the right way. That is why I call for the developing of a regulatory sandbox for AI. A sandbox is a space in which companies can test AI systems under real conditions in a legally secure and um, limited area. In that way, we can avoid overregulation and at the same time test whether and where there is a need for regulation. In the end, this enables innovation in a faster and cost-effective way, as a study from the United Kingdom shows. 800 companies, um, they are tested the sandbox and uh, were able to accelerate the market entry through sandbox regulation in the field of digitalization by 40%. These successes are the reason why the British government is currently implementing an AI sandbox as well, and we should follow the best practice. This is precisely where I see so much opportunity for us here in Germany. We are building an ecosystem for AI that is unique in Europe, um, and we are creating a spring prod for domestic AI developments. In doing so, we are guided by our European values. We have a long tradition in Germany as a successful industrial nation with strong commercial enterprises and an excellent research and university landscape. With a regulatory sandbox, we can manage to find a balanced way of regulation in Europe, um, realistically test possible applications and thus lead our country into the AI innovation age. We, are, um, we also want to bring those fascinating new AI models into our companies, specifically to small and medium-sized enterprises. Many of our SMEs um, face difficulties dealing with new technologies um, and integrating digital solutions into their own processes. Our present era, uh, era defined by shortage of skilled workers, makes these difficulties more acute. Through the Bavarian AI Transfer Plus project, we provide medium-sized companies with professional support in integrating um, suitable AI applications in the long term. The aim here is to ensure that companies um, operate independently and that they develop further innovation AI applications because they um, have skilled them or we have sk skilled them to do so. In addition to setting up the appropriate technical AI infrastructure, we also support the participants in the development of a long-term AI vision. With this focus on intensive support during um, the intro introduction of specific AI applications in companies, the AI Transfer Plus program is unique in the German funding landscape. Dear DLD community, when I look into all your faces, I'm very confident in our future. You are smart, you are motivated, perhaps a bit sleepy, but you are motivated. Thank you so much for coming to Bavaria. I would um, love to invite you to stay, build a company here, 
um, a home, we have excellent people, um, a top-notch tech and innovation system, and breathtaking surroundings. The Alps, um, our beautiful lakes, and most important of all, our Bavarian Lebensfreude. Cheers to you all, cheers to you, Steffi. Have a wonderful event, thanks for having me. Thank you.